Hi, I'm Daniel from SPLmixing.com and you're watching Mix Rescue. Mix Rescue is divided into three parts. Mix preparation, mixing, and review. For Mix Rescue submissions, send your files and download links to daniel at splmixing.com with the email subject Mix Rescue. Welcome to part one. Previously on Mix Rescue. Today we are prepping the mix real life. I would probably describe it as an indie rock slash pop track. These are now our new overheads with no snare in them. I want all of those little taps from the original snare to come through. So I'm gonna get a sine wave generator tuned to the pitch of that because there's just no sustain on them. That's gonna sound a lot better than what we had there. As opposed to so tightly gated during recording it's cut off all of that good stuff but now we've got it back just out of interest what would happen if i threw devil lock on these babies yeah just not very exciting is it until we add these Let's get on to really fine tuning phase relationships between these parts. So we don't really care about the snare per se, only because we've completely chopped it out of both the hi-hats and the overheads. So what I'm most concerned with is just fine tuning. So what we're doing is we're adjusting in between phase. So we're getting much better results there. Um, let's now add in the attack, kick. Let's now move on to putting these all into my template. Okay, I'm gonna delete all of that front half and then just route these where they need to go. I think that's gonna be the quickest way to do it. They all work and they all work. Okay, we're looking good, great. I'm gonna color these differently, except for that one. All right, beginning of template, middle and end. How does this all sound? Now, one thing I need to look at is, now that I think of it, how solid are the rooms? Where's the multiband imager? So I'm gonna mono out some of the low end on this uh, for the kick. And then that way our room is a bit more solid. That's looking pretty good. All right, drums are done. So I'm gonna save this as done. Sounding great so far. Let's have a look at the bass guitar. It looks like we've got these notes that stick out quite a lot. I'm gonna use clip gain to bring these down. Yeah, much better. Consolidate this. Just out of interest, I'm going to have a look at using R bass. Yeah, I think R bass has done a lot to fix up that bass up. Seems to be just lacking general body. Let's move on to the guitars. So that I think could be made onto a separate track because later on these two here turn into stereo pairs. I can just get rid of that part of that one there. So just go and strip silence off this. Let's do it off the whole track. Cool. Well now that that's out of the way crossfade. So let's pan these out. That one can remain center. Get rid of that. It 
we might need to malt out some of these guitars. So I'm wondering if they just become more mono. So what we do is we duplicate those and tab to that transient, go down and we'll just delete these and then I'll do the same here. So for these, and we can get rid of that. So now we've got chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. And we want to maybe do that on the last bit. So we'll go maybe 70% panning on either side. I noticed too I've, I've stuffed up here. So I'm going to just take these ones here. Cool. And then we'll get rid of that. So we're going wide to narrower. What happens if we take it into say 50? Crazy, I know. And there's a bit of a dodgy strum there, so I'm gonna move that one. And does it happen here too? Yeah, it does. All right, so we'll fix him up. Nice, that's better. These could almost certainly have the similar sort of expansion in the choruses. So I've just noticed this guitar is starting up sooner. Uh, does it do it in the other one? The other guitar part doesn't play it the first time around. So I'm going to actually cut and paste that across there. Seems pretty important. I think that makes perfect sense. So cut and paste that up there. I don't know about completely out there, probably 70 will do it. So I like to keep the beefiness closer to the center, might be the way to go. Let's delete those, let's Let's try something like this. Yep, let's extend that out to there and delete these. Great, so we've edited that. Got an organ part here, what's that doing? So that's just in the choruses, so that can stay super wide too. I don't think there's much difference between these sides. There's one way to tell, is to get the corallometer. So that's telling me that it's completely mono. Uh, if I flip the side, that will also confirm it. So if I go to one band EQ and flip polarity, really the same. There's no point in keeping that as stereo. So we shall just have it as a mono track. All right, so there's just a little bit of editing stuff that will hopefully help us out later on when it comes to mix. We'll get that expansion in the choruses and skinnier verses. The next thing I'll be looking at is BVs. So I'll see you next time for that. Stay tuned for the next part of Mix Rescue and as always, happy mixing. Let us know if you enjoy this series by giving it a like, share the video and subscribe to SPL Mixing, remembering to ring that notification bell so that you don't miss a future upload.